hello friends in this video we will see how to link the internal document here in the example if you see we have a contents and inside that we have uh, three hyperlink go to net page, go to word pad go to calculator so when you click this link it navigates internal document that means it scrolls the document so that you can read the specific section HTML5 hyperlink can be used to refer internal sections of the document. The ID attribute of the anchor tag defines specific section of the document. So the, that's the first step we have to do. First, we will form an anchor tag that defines specific section of the document. So the anchor tag doesn't contain any hyperlink that means the href attribute but instead it will have an id attribute so this id is acts as a marker next in the anchor tag we use the href attribute that refers those ids so usually the id name will be preceding with the pound sign say for example if we have an id uh, section 1 in the anchor tag and the anchor tag goes like this a id equal to within double quotes we will say section 1 then in the href reference we will use href equal to ash section 1 so this acts ash section 1 the will refer the internal document so whenever user clicks the link it will go to that particular section let us see an example here So this is the example. Here there are three anchor tags with an ID. So one is at line 14 that defines the notepad section and ID equal to notepad. So here we define an ID notepad for and we mark this with an anchor tag. So the other one is at line 25. A ID equal to word pad. So that defines the weight pad section. Next, finally, we have ID equal to calc section. So there are three ID we are using here with the three set of anchor tags. So these IDs will act as a marker for different section of the document. In the top, we have three anchor tag, but here instead of ID, we use the href attribute. The hyper reference value refers the internal IDs we defined at a different portion of the document. And you can notice that the href here is formed with ID with a proceeding uh, ash sign. So the net result is if you click a particular link here, it won't move to any external document here because here we are referring the internal document using the IDs. So, uh, when we click the link, the document will get scrolled to that specific portion. Now, we will see this in uh, Internet uh, Explorer. Here you can see three different anchors. Here is the first anchor and the ID here is Notepad. After that, we are opening the Notepad section with the H2 tag. After that, before opening the uh, wet pad section, we mark it with an anchor and we specify ID as a wet pad. Then there is a anchor section. And then there is an anchor for a calculator section. In the top, you can see three section. We named it as a content. Then after that, we place a three anchor. One is go to notepad. So that is the text that will appear as a hyperlink. There will be underline here. Similarly, there will be two more hyperlink. So these are all called internal document hyperlink. So there are three href we are forming here. The first one refers to notepad. So the notepad is the ID here preceding with a pound sign. Similarly, there is a wordpad with a preceding pawn sign.
So these together refers a section where ID is written. Similarly, there is a calculator. So we have anchor at the top of the document and we have uh, the internal hyperlinks at the bottom of the document as well. All right, now let us display this Internet Explorer and see how it works. So for now, let us uh, keep it like that so that we can see a scroll bar. Now, if I click the go to calculator, the document will get scrolled automatically and it moves to the calculator section. That means to the marker position of anchor id equal to calc that position it will move and you can see we moved to open calc if i click weight pad it will move slightly up so we will see the weight pad now even i can click a notepad also so this way you can move to different portion of the document in your uh, html file so here the document is very small but in some uh, article pages or the big document there will be multiple section by clicking the hyperlink you can directly move to that specific section that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye